For the latest on a developing story, 7 Eyewitness News has been following for more than a year now. The grandmother of five-year-old Ian Brooks now suing Erie County. She claims that Child Protective Services did nothing to protect her grandson from almost two years of abuse. Brooks was beaten to death in Buffalo in 2013 by his mother's boyfriend. And the lawsuit recently filed claims CPS received report after report after report that Ian was being abused. And every time those reports were closed, not accepted, or found to be unsubstantiated. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Branch has been looking over this lawsuit line by line. Ed? In 11 page lawsuit, Keith and Joanna, the complaint explains Erie County Child Protective Services should have known full well about the harm Ian Brooks was suffering, but they did nothing to stop the abuse. The tragic and senseless loss of life spurred a transformation in the Erie County Child Protective System. Erie County Executive Mark Polencar says since Ian Brooks' death, major reforms have been implemented inside the Department of Social Services, trying to prevent another death like Ian's. Sorry. The five-year-old Brooks was killed by his mother's live-in boyfriend, Matthew Kudzel, in October of 2013. The convicted killer also sexually abused the boy before slamming him into a bathroom wall, which led to his death. Kudzel, according to prosecutors, was on drugs and was trying to get drugs prior to the boy's death, he was sentenced to decades in prison. When children are in homes where family violence, substance abuse, or untreated mental illness is present, they are in danger. Polencar says he's seen the 11-page lawsuit filed by Robin Hart on behalf of her grandson, Ian Brooks. It claims County Child Protective Services caseworkers failed to complete comprehensive, thorough, and appropriate safety and risk assessments. It goes on to explain they failed to conduct thorough and appropriate investigations into reports of abuse as well. I'm not going to talk about particulars associated directly with litigation. I have gone on record saying that two individuals were terminated and two team leaders were suspended. The lawsuit says Brooks fell through the cracks inside Child Protective Services, even though many reports were filed by family members and even Ian Brooks' school. Lawyers write Brooks was an abused infant in need of supervision and protection. All that said, I tried reaching out to lawyers for Ian Brooks' grandmother. They did not return my phone calls. So the question now is, what will become of the Department of Social Services considering the commissioner is stepping aside? Brand new details coming up tonight on 7 Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting live Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News.